Hey gang, what is going on? I'm sitting here, not with my girlfriend, but with my fiance, Gracie Lyons, Lord willing soon to be Gracie Turk. Gracie, how are you doing? Pretty good. You doing good? Excited. I've already started thinking about planning, and I love planning, so it's been a great few days. It has. And so basically with this video, Hang Gang, kind of just wanted to debrief how we're feeling after the whole proposal and uh, thanking the Lord that it went well. So talk about some verses about God's providence and share that with you guys. And uh, yeah, Gracie's going home for Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to see her for a little bit. And just wanted to make this video kind of a reaction to the proposal and a little bit of a debriefing. So before we talk about that, I want to say thanks again, everyone who is subscribed to this channel and who's kind of been following along with the journey here ever since I've been to OU and making videos and all that. It's been a blessing. I know Grace has been a part of that, uh, kind of by default being my former girlfriend and now my fiance, but <laughs> I think she's taken it in stride sometimes being on the videos. But what do you think so far about being on some of the videos? Does that annoy you or you're sometimes thankful to be on or what? You can hold this. Oh, I love being on them. I, one of my favorite things is whenever we go places and people just yell out hang gang or hang time. I think that's really cool. But being in them, at first, I would say I was very awkward. Like, I didn't know how to react to a camera in my face. But now it's more normal. Yeah, yeah. And also, so sort of this topic of this video, I know that God is working in both Grace and I's lives, and He works in all the lives of His believers. So if you're watching this and you're a believer in the Lord Jesus, we can know and be confident that there's a verse, Proverbs 16, 9, man plans his way in his heart, but the Lord determines his steps. So I just wanted to talk about briefly how I came here to Oklahoma and then met Grace. And so if you don't know the background, I came here as a grad transfer, was not looking for a girlfriend, but God had it set up that I would meet Grace. And so I just wanted to take a moment to thank the Lord for that and also let you guys know that's truly what happened. It was all God's doing and God's working and got to know her pretty quickly about after a month being here through FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And shortly thereafter, I asked her to be my girlfriend. How long did I know you before I asked you to be my girlfriend? I mean, we never really hung, we hung out as a group, but we didn't really know each other well. Yeah. I would say we knew each other for a few months, but not very personally. Yeah. So like right when we decided, oh, we could potentially date, then it happened very fast. And backstory, if, I don't know if you said this in the video. What? That everyone saw. What? Go ahead, say it. How you asked me to be your girlfriend by writing on a note. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. So sorry to interrupt. But oh, yeah. What's with, if you guys watched the proposal video and that whole vlog or just saw the clip of me proposing to Grace, were you confused why I handed you a note? As opposed to just asking you to marry me or no? No, because you, you joked about it early on when we were making jokes about getting engaged about you doing the same thing. <laughs> so when I saw you pull out the note, I was like, oh man, like this is happening. Yeah. Because I remembered back when you asked me to be your girlfriend, you wrote on a note, will you be my girlfriend? I and did. you didn't say it. You just watched me read it. <laughs> yeah. And she read it. It was a nice note. And then at the end, I said, will you be my girlfriend? She just looked up and kind of awkwardly said yes. But <laughs> actually, it wasn't that awkward. I think it was good. That was great. And then it, look, we're a year not later. Like a, yeah. Well, a year later, that's how you did it. You still, I still like that you asked me when you I were asked, down on a knee, but yeah. I read it. 
Yeah, person. and when I wrote the note with my girlfriend, it's not like I just sent you the note and wasn't there in person. Yeah, I was there. still there yeah, looking you at there. you, so I just thought that was I cool. thought it was very creative, so I really liked that part. And along with that, on the back side, it was crazy how it happened, the verse that I wrote yeah. you. So yeah. I, write, I write him a verse every game day just for encouragement and to focus on mm -hmm. what's truly important. The verse I picked, and I, I wrote, I Psalm found it on my... Psalm 39, 16. Verse yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. 16. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet they were none of them. That's amazing. I thought that was really special that you wrote that as a game day verse. And also on a side note, we're going to watch the proposal live here and kind of react to it in a second. But I watched it and I said, my girlfriend makes me these game day vlogs. <laughs> I meant to say she makes me game day notes with the Bible verse, because I make the vlogs. She doesn't make the vlogs. You know, actually, side note, I make the vlogs. If you yeah. guys didn't know that, I am the one who edits them. No. Yeah, that was funny that I accidentally said that. I didn't know I did until I watched the video, but <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, just watch it real quick, and then I have some more questions planned for just interest. Hopefully, it interests you guys after we react to the video. Let's do that now. Okay. Okay, so I got my YouTube video pulled up of the proposal. If you guys haven't watched that, uh, check it out. It's my, the recent video before this, not only the proposal, but like the game day vlog. And we are at the 19 minute and 15 second mark where I run back into the locker room to grab the ring. So we're gonna watch it with you guys and kind of have a sort of a live reaction. We haven't done this before. So once that clock hit zero, rather than going and dapping up the other team and kind of talking, I made a beeline for the locker room and ha had to get the ring. <laughs> I wish I saw that. Yes, I and really in hindsight, do. <laughs> in hindsight, one of my teammates was like, bro, you should have went in the other entrance and walked around so you didn't see me sprinting <laughs> down the field, but I didn't think of that. I just sprinted, and I also had to like move a lot of people out of the way because they were in the tunnel. I felt bad because I was moving so quick, but um, we're gonna start watching it from the 19 minute and 15 second mark and have a live reaction here and then talk about it. Out of breath. Yes, I was out of breath. And I said Yahweh, God's personal name. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yes, anyone I walked past, You're I felt the everyone. need to just say I'm about to propose. That's how excited I was. <laughs> Shout out. See, I was looking for you that whole time when you got... You made it back by the song. Yes, I made it back I by the... I was looking for you during the song. Ben. ben, he too. left us. He jumped on the field, <laughs> and I was yeah, trying to get on ben too. Yeah, my brother Ben was there. Coach Scotty, he said, "Where is she?" Okay, let me press pause here real quick. So, also, I thought you were gonna be in the stands, and I was gonna welcome you onto the field, but then I literally turned around and I saw you, and I was like, "Oh, here Sid we go." Sid gave me her. Sid gave me her badge to get on the field. So, so I. That's how you she got told on. me to get. So my roommate told me that she wanted to take pictures of both of us because it was your last home game. Yes. So I was like, okay, sweet. So she gave me her badge to get on the field to take pictures with you. Yeah. So she was in on it. Uh, and the way I was going to try to word it is, Grace, come on the field to get pictures with me from our last home game and be on the end of the game day vlog. That's kind of mm. how I was wording it. But let me ask you this as we're watching. Actually, let me just keep watching more. Ben. Shout out to JB and all my teammates for being excited. Real quick, couple <laughs> things. Jaron, Jaron Kanick, number seven, freshman, right freshman beast. Yeah, he's on the screen right now. I told him before that I was going to do this. And it's funny though, because he just whispered to me, as you guys just saw, are you about to propose? Did you hear him say that? I saw him go up and whisper to you something. But you didn't and know. And I was like, I know you're kind of close to Jaron, so I was like, something, he just said something that was important. But did you hear the word propose or no? No, no, okay. he didn't say propose. He said, do it, or are you, oh my. or something. Oh my, Jaron, Jaron, lughead. <laughs> right in front of me. Right in front of Grace. But I was still overwhelmed, And then so, later on, he honestly. whispered something to David Weibu too, saying he's about to do it. But I guess my question for you, as I'm calling everybody over, in your mind, be honest, were you, was there a hint of thought of like, oh, he's about to propose, or did you think I was just trying to get like a celebratory last good sort of video for my game day vlog with all of us? There was a hint of me thinking about it, but not, like I wasn't like, oh, it's happening. I was just right. like, oh boy, like <laughs> this could happen. Yeah. And it was just a lot of people around, so it kind of was just overwhelming in yeah. general. It was overwhelming. 
And I would also say, hang gang, Grace and I know the seriousness of marriage. And that is actually a biblical concept. And the Bible talks about marriage and how it's like Christ in the church and God's the one who invented marriage. And so we take it very serious. But prior for the past few months, sometimes I might have joked around about it too much. And yeah. Because just so I was excited. So uh, even if you kind of knew it was about to happen, I feel like there was still so much buildup that it oh, was Oh, like, I didn't know when. I was excited too. And... I thought we were both on the same page, like we both wanted to get married. So yeah. it was kind of like, well, it's going to happen at some point if God wants it to. So that's right. Then it's just like excitement. Like the last two weeks, I was thinking a <laughs> lot of like nervous and then also like just wondering when. Yeah, me too. I was wondering when as well. But this night, we're about to watch it here at the end of it, but this night of senior night, Against Oklahoma State, we got the win. And I punted 11 times. I haven't punted that much ever since I've been in Oklahoma. So I was like, all the stars aligned. And your parents yeah. were able to make it on the very last. I didn't know for sure if her parents were going to be there until literally the day of. Yeah, they were coming they, back from a trip. Yeah, they and they made the like trip, the last flight option. just in time. So obviously I was happy her parents could be there because it's hard to get everybody there. <coughs> May the Lord bless you and bless our marriage. Let's keep watching. I'm being alive. <laughs> look at Jared. <laughs> yeah. Thank He's you. the star of the show in the back. Oh, look, there. He just whispered to you. Did you see DU's face? Let me rewind that. <laughs> All right. Watch Jaron and DU. <laughs> he turns at me. Yeah. Shout out to all my teammates for being good teammates yeah, here cool. and getting hype about it. Okay, we're about to watch it, but I just said I wanted to say this is my last home game. I love y'all, and we're all crowded on. Did you know it's about to happen at this moment? I was like, I don't know. I this has started where I went into like shock mode. I wasn't. This is where my brain stopped thinking, and it was just like let it happen. Watching whatever. it, yeah. You were just part. You were just participating in it. Watching yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Game day vlog. She makes me a game day vlog. Game day note. All right, sorry for stopping it so much, but I meant to say game day note. Okay. Noted. <laughs> Look at Josh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Aww. Also, I realize now in hindsight, I was supposed to put the ring on your finger while I was taking a knee. But I think I went hear... in for the hug before you, you could did, even do yeah. that. Did you hear what I was able to say when I was on a knee? I only saw I heard I saw I love you and will you marry me? But what? You... Just thankful it went well and that God placed me here at Oklahoma. And there's some bad stuff or bad stuff that's happened in my life and all the reasons not to get too much in detail. But it reminds me of Romans 8:28 talking about the reality that. And we know that all things work together for the good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. And the ultimate good is that we're being conformed to the image of the Son, which what it talks about in the very next verse, we're being made more like Jesus. But also the temporal good of God is sovereignly directing our lives. And we see that in the Bible too. Like every person that God used, he sovereignly directs their life. So God already knew that Grace was going to be my fiance, or Lord willing, my wife. Before I even met Grace, there's a proverb that says, houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. If you keep the Lord first, Matthew 6, 33, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness Everything else will be added unto you. God takes care of us. Now, last thing. When is the marriage? Because my vote, I want to have it maybe next week or I guess <laughs> possibly as late as two weeks. But when are you thinking to have this wedding? Um, don't say three weeks. <laughs> I don't know. We'll keep you updated. We'll keep you all updated. In all seriousness, what do you think though? Hey gang, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell too. That really helps out a lot so you get notified when I upload a video. You guys don't forget about us. And I hope you guys are doing great. Keep on the Lord trusting him. Grace, any parting words? Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. Let's go. See you in the next one. Grace, love, peace, and mercy.